We started off the week with very sad news um, about N Nelson Mandela's daughter who had passed away at the age of 43 uh, due to cancer and we we're all sad about it and because of that news we start remembering you know things about Nelson Mandela and how he just became a household name all over the world you know everybody knows Nelson Mandela and his cause uh, against apartheid in South Africa. Now Fast forward, we're now talking about Jeff Koinange as he was reminiscing about his experiences or rather his encounters with Nelson Mandela. He talks about how um, at some point he got the, uh, he was fortunate enough to be, to be a part of uh, a group session where they were allowed to ask questions to Nelson Mandela. And when he stood up and introduced himself, Nelson was like, first of all, I know you. I know where you're from. Your father was a chief or something. So, you know, there's that familiarity going on. Fast forward, they became very, very good friends. And Nelson Mandela would always ask Jeff Koinange the same, same question. When are you going to have children, okay? When are you going to give me grandchildren? When are you going to have children? And I think it's just an African thing at this point, you know? An older person looks at you and you're thriving and you're doing well in your business and they're like, okay, well and good, but where are your children? No, I've accomplished all of this. Jeff Koidange was a journalist of his time, you know? He was breaking barriers. He was doing, he was the... George Indirangu of, of, of right now. So now you can now try to uh, balance the two. You know, George Indirangu, what he's doing right now, and what Jeff Koinange was doing back then. He was making moves, interviewing people, pan panels and everything, moderating all this event in Africa but you know despite all of that all of those accomplishments when he was talking to Nelson Mandela the question was well when are you gonna have children what is happening and Jeff Koenig actually make it, made a joke out of it and said uh, it's like his things were not operating the machine was not working he had quit Anyway, um, after um, trying everything, uh, even IVF, a friend of their, theirs recommended um, a clinic in Barcelona, and they flew out, and they actually ha it was successful, and they had a child. And then he says, when the child was eight months old and they were coming back to um, Nairobi, he calls the Nelson Mandela office and they're like, please tell Mandela that, you know, I, I finally had a son. He is eight months old. Can we come by for Madiba to bless him? And the request was actually accepted. And they flew to South Africa. He blessed the child. It was like a chick to chick kind of thing. They even have pictures. I don't know if we have the pictures over here. They had the pictures of the whole encounter. And then they came back to Kenya. So it's all about remembering people in their best light you know we know nelson mandela as the freedom fighter and everything but he actually had a soft side side and at the same time we're very sad about the news of his daughter she passed away really young and she was very impactful she actually led a very impactful life in the time she was on earth so love and light to everyone involved yeah, I feel like sometimes the way celebrities name drop is very interesting. Mm. You will know the caliber of a person based on the names that they drop. Exactly. You know, it's the way he just says, it's it's the way he's tied the story of him having a child to Mandela. Do you get me? As in, Mr. President is asking, when will you give me, and I quote, he would ask, when will you give me my grandson? My grandson, mm -hmm. imagine a whole Mr. President of a whole different country is calling you his son. Hmm? That name drop, that name drop was heavy. But in the same beat, I think um, if there are people who have really forged a way for journalism and the media career is basically just this beautiful story of this person who's gone through all sorts of adversities and still managed to retain his posture his status he's not changed uh, jeff koinange is at teenage is still the jeff koinange we know now uh, if there was a, a trending video of him i think earlier on this week where he was just him presenting very young man with a full head of hair and you're like whoa he looks like such a young man mm. and now he's all you know gray and happy and with a child and all of these things it's kind of one of those really amazing amazing stories and he is a legend in his own right <sighs> but childbearing is a whole thing imagine so much pressure and now you have to figure out solutions you have to fly to spain to get your own child it's it's wild parents